Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project sales and invoice uh, administration system and uh, I have developed this project in Spring Boot and Angular. For Angular I am using the Angular version uh, 8 and for database I am using the MySQL 5.6. For Spring Boot site I am using Hibernate uh, and uh, JPA and some of the uh, native query I have used right so many of the Java library also have used like uh, hash map and uh, many other things I have used on the Java side. So the technology stacks I have used on the server side is the uh, Java Spring Boot and uh, databases MySQL and uh, for front end side I have used uh, Angular. So this is the bootstrap theme and there are two type of UI available here. For login you will get the different UI and for internal the admin part has been developed over the different UI right so, uh, so let's start with the functionality go through and uh, one more thing this is a, a mini project developed in angular and spring boot and it has only and only admin login there is no customer login and customer operations are available here but yes if you need then we can incorporate those things and we will make it as per your requirements right so for running this project one more thing i want to share you that uh, i have used STS means Spring tool, Spring tool suits for developing the uh, Java code and for Angular uh, I have used Visual Studio code right so these IDs we have used for developing this build right so let's see start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented right so once you run this project then uh, you will get this home page the login page and we are running this project on uh, port 4200 because it's a default port of the uh, Angular application right so once you get this page then the user id is untargeted gmail.com and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard there are a lot of operations you can perform here right the first thing is the dashboard second one is the start sales from here you can enter the customer name and this is a total sales dashboard let's right? suppose i am entering the customer name and the customer mobile number once you enter the customer mobile number and once you click on the start sales then you will get the start uh, sales dashboard right from here you need to select the uh, product right this product uh, is coming from the database and enter the quantity once you click on the add item then all things will be calculated automatically there is no need of entering uh, the calculation details right now i have added the vaporizer and the six items add items you can see the total cost each and everything we are calculating automatically right so this is a full fledged uh, sales dashboard right sales and creating invoice dashboard right so now we have added these three items now i want to delete this one once you click on the delete then that item will be deleted that from the database and you will get these two items right once you click on the save sales details then all of the information of this page will be saved in the database right and you can access this letter also right you can see this is the order number 196 and the all information we have saved inside the database right so this is the sales uh, uh, flow right now this is the order report all of the order which you have made earlier will be displayed here right so you can see we have made the order number 106 that's why it's displaying here once you click on this arrow button you will be able to see the details of that all of the this is a product report all of the product which you have added will be displayed here currently there are 10 products now right so all of the products 10 products are coming there on the database if you want to edit just click on the edit and you can edit all of the information here and you can submit it once you click on the submit then details that product details will be updated into the database this is the add product section from here this drop down contains the all of the value coming from the database right all of the drop downs here we have used inside this project is dynamic drop down and all of the drop downs values are coming from the database right so you can change it in the database so after entering all of the information once you, once you click on the submit then all of the information will be saved inside the database this is a company report all of the company which belongs to the product will be displayed here right if you want to edit then you can edit and update the details of the company this is a add company from here you can add the company this is a category report from here you can see all of the category category means it's a belongs to the biscuit while each and everything category will you can see here when you can edit and update here so this is a product application this is add category from here you can add any number of category you can see i am adding new category 
once you click on the submit this new category has been added and if i want to delete it just click on the delete and that items will be deleted from the database also the last thing is a logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages so logout then you can see you have you have redirected to the login page and it's asking for your login details right once you log in then you will get the same dashboard here right so you can jump on the menu or either clicking here or either clicking here so it depends on you where you are clicking right so these all functionalities we have developing inside this project sales and invoice management system as i told you earlier this project we had developed in spring boot jpa hypernet uh, and the uh, angular and the mysql database right and for id we are using hts for developing the spring boot application and angular for uh, angular we have used visual studio code so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project and if you need more functionality and if you need any type of enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate the changes we will make this project more dependent according to the requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much